the immediate issues in our in, in our in front of us. Yeah, there was a moment yesterday, Angela or I. There was a bit of a bye girl bye. Yeah, uh, it was. Um, I saw from, that from Miss Angela. Lots so of love to Angela. there you go. Um, in, even in the in the uh, White House Daily Briefing, where you know one of the reporters was asking Sarah Sanders, okay, well, can you name one uh, individual of color, you know, on the senior staff and. and they couldn't. I never saw any individual of color in his organization when I was on The Apprentice. Um, you know, obviously on the senior staff, you don't see that in the White House. Um, and to pull Omarosa in as your kind of, you know, minority whisperer or, you know, black, pe black person whisperer, I think that was the wrong choice. <laughs> as far as what exactly happened, yes. and we may never fully know, there are multiple versions mm -hmm. uh, of the story. Let me read for you what the Secret Service tweeted because there right. was word that perhaps she was escorted off mm -hmm. the property, that maybe she was trying to get into the residence. Mm -hmm. We were talking to April Ryan, who had all this great reporting. Um, the Secret Service tweeted, that they were not involved in escorting her out, but if there was indeed a dramatic confrontation, as our sources say, um, walk me through what would well, have happened or how this would have been handled. Well, this is this is this is a, an organization, so this comes down to access control. Um, after she was terminated, and I just kind of find there's a little sweet irony in this termination that it happened in the Situation Room, which is a boardroom, <laughs> and she was terminated there. So I kind of see it as a little ironic. You're you're asked to leave, um, so. Yes, escorted out, but it doesn't mean escorted out by the Secret Service. Just if you're terminated from CNN, they will take your stuff and you will leave. You will hand over your pass and, and move on. Mm -hmm. There was no you know, physical removal of her across the North Lawn and, and, and dragging her off the complex. First of all... Does that for, mean that someone else might have done that or not necessarily? No, that's a, that's a, that's if someone else does it, it's assault. So let me just be perfectly clear. Thank you. From the Secret Service standpoint, they are not putting hands on somebody to remove them from any facility unless there uh, was, you know, uh, actually violation of law. I mean, they're not going to, they're, they're law enforcement officers. New York police officers doesn't just walk around the streets and, 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 and grab people and drag them down the street, nor does a United States Secret Service, you know, agent or officer of the White House. That didn't happen. I spoke to the Secret Service this morning. Yeah. They were very candid uh, in their information that, that they gave me. I believe them 100%. And I don't know one agent or officer, quite frankly, that would put their job on the line to physically remove somebody without actually pressing charges against them. Okay. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you. Me, thank you. Thank you very Safe much. Safe travels to you, you, my friend. And uh, Claudia, thank you so much. I appreciate thank all you. of you. Let's roll on.